Today, we have two big updates, so be sure to stick around for the second half of the video. First, in September of 2024, I published exclusive footage of Officer Huizar of the Riverside Sheriff's Office opening the door of a local resident after responding to a noise complaint. Back up. You do not have a right to be inside I'm my house. I will talk up. to you outside. Just back up and talk to her outside. No, you, you don't have a warrant. No, don't talk to them. You do not have a warrant to be inside. I will talk to you outside. You want... Officer, I will I talk to you outside. I am not going to step outside your house. You do not have a warrant to talk be inside right of my house. I'm not inside your house. Okay. You're inside yes. of my house. Let me tell you why I'm right here. Because you walked in. No, because they opened the door and ran from me. And That's I'm why. telling you, I am the okay. adult and I'm here. Telling this you is my home. And now that I'm inside your house, you... I own your house no, right you now. Did not. Yes, I do. Bro, bro, bro. Yes, I do. What the fuck do you want inside my house? You have no right to be inside because they opened the door and they're minors. I'm the adult here. This is my home. She said fuck? she's the adult. She's I'm not your fucking. Adult. She's my daughter. Get the fuck out of my home. I'm not gonna get out of your house. This is my home, okay, bro. Just... You're in my house. I am telling you. You're in my house. Hey, Don't chill, do that. Chill, You're chill, in my house. I'm not cheating her. You're in my home. Everything. I understand what you can't do. Hey. Step away from me. No, he doesn't have to. Fuck, uh, step away from me. Just step away. Just, just, just go. Bad, I'm, not, I'm not dealing with this thing. Okay, you can go inside. Tell him now. Okay, just okay. step right there. Can we get your badge number, please? Step right there. 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 And do not go inside. Do not go inside. You can step outside my house and record. Oh, look at all these cops coming. For a little 5 2 with a broken foot. Wah. I'll bring him out, I'll bring him out. Keep the door open. He entered the home a second time, again without consent. This was in the house again. What's taking you guys so long? We're trying to find them. Where'd they go? Bro, why are you in the house again? Well, because you're minors, there's alcohol here, right? And we told you guys we're doing something else. Is this wow. allowed? Yes, it is allowed. That's allowed. That's not allowed. Just get out the crib. Is he allowed to be in my house, though? Yes or no? Give me all the guys in the inside. So no, please Where's the supervisor? We're not gonna get out, okay? The occupants ask once again if Deputy Huizar was allowed to enter the home, but instead of answering, another deputy again refers to alcohol in the kitchen, which is claimed to be from guests of the homeowner, who are of legal age and left earlier that evening. Hey, so y'all are allowed to be in the house for a noise complaint? Yes or no? I can see the alcohol. Don't matter about alcohol, this is a house, not a truck. <laughs> you guys are all minors. Yeah, there they go. Good boys. What's happening? Triple for no reason. Uh, my mom's in the back of a police car. Yeah. Um, she knows I can go to jail. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, uh, for what? Instructing a police, uh, police officer. Is he allowed in her house without being like offered to come in? Door was so, shut. So, hold on. I try to explain to you. You and the other guy ran from me. Right. I didn't he, run. I, I he wasn't came there. From the back uh, that was me. Okay, so you and the other one. We ran. didn't run from you. You guys you shut the, the door. door. Right, you open the door. I'm you close and run the other way. No, we shut the door. And then you open the door and came in. But you guys were running the opposite direction. You opened the door okay. and you came in the Did house. You, were you guys at the door? All the way until she started no, talking okay. to you. Were you guys at the Once door? Once she started talking yeah, to you, you, you backed up. Adele was charged and has been dragged through court for the past three months. Fortunately, after posting her videos and urging her to create a GoFundMe, you fine folks donated over $22,000 to assist her with legal costs. Many attorneys reached out to help, and Adele was able to choose which one to work with. The sheriff is currently in possession of all the body cam footage and police reports, which have been requested by numerous people through FOIA and discovery requests for Adele's criminal case. But all of the requests have been denied to this point due to the ongoing investigation with the criminal charges. Her next court date was set for November, but recently, the prosecutor called the case before the judge without notice to Adele's counsel and asked for the case to be dismissed. No argument there and the charges are dropped. Since then, 
the footage and reports were requested again, but now the agency is refusing to release them because of their own internal investigation into the corrupt Deputy Huizar, which is similar to the IRS coming to audit you and you telling them that they can't have your documents because you're still looking at them and giving them no indication of a timeline as to when you'll release them. Adele and her attorney are now working out a lawsuit for the egregious violations of her civil rights. So when that is filed or the records get released, I will let you know. But if you like news of 1983 complaints, you'll enjoy part two, where in March of 2024, I broke another exclusive story from a viewer named Ian. He was door dashing in Superior, Wisconsin when he made a wrong turn onto a one-way street and was pulled over by Officer Justin Taylor. 547 Superior traffic stop. Once stopped, Ian turned on the overhead light and reached into his passenger area to retrieve his ID and to grab his registration and insurance from the glove box. Officer Taylor failed to activate his body cam during the encounter, but Officer Guard and her partner happened to be down the street at a local homeless shelter and arrived at the scene shortly after a request for backup was made. Sure, Andrew, we can see him! The officers drew their firearms and aimed at Ian's vehicle despite no indication of a threat. Reach down, open the door. Do it now. Ian was ordered out of his vehicle. Locked, oh. it's locked. Unlock it. Given confusing commands. Slowly step out of the vehicle and face away from us. Face away. Keep your hands up, face away from us right now. All right, put your hands on your head and release your fingers. Turn face, away. face away from us right sorry, now. Sorry. You're not listening. Move slowly backwards to the sound of my voice. Do you understand? Start moving. Slow down. Keep facing forward. Keep walking. Put your hands on top of your head. Put your hands on top of your head and face forward right now. Keep looking forward. Put your hands on top of your head. Stop moving. Get down on your left knee. Get down on your left knee. Do it now or you're going to get tased. Get down on your left knee. Just seconds after warning Ian of the use of a taser, Officer Guard fired her taser twice at Ian, once in his back and another immediately after into his lower legs. Don't move or you're going to get tased again! I'm going to die here. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Keep watching the vehicle, Mike. Yeah. Help me. There's no one else in the car. Okay. I have shirts in the back. See covering the windows because I banged in there one time. Sergeant Brown tries to extract a passenger that doesn't exist. We're good. We got this, guys. Passenger in the vehicle. We know you're there. Put your hands up. No, one person command. Passenger in the vehicle. Put your hands up. Passenger in the vehicle. We know that you're there. Put your hands up. Hey, this isn't a great place for you right now. <laughs> they eventually realize that the vehicle is empty and search it, but nothing of evidentiary value was found. It appears the officers were as befuddled as Ian and were unsure what to charge him with. Eventually, they suggested resisting. So what are you, what are you trying to say? It's the only thing I can really... Yeah. Then I'll Did you we'll search his vehicle it. at all, or are we leaving it? I think he wants us to just lock it up and leave okay. it. Okay. During his arrest, the officers joked about the incident. Are you door dashing? Yeah. Yeah. Should we deliver their food to them? Is that what you're doing? Door dashing. Yeah, we probably should. I see the one TikTok. I'm down for doing that. Um, he has a spiral. He said he wants the food to just them just get refunded. As they leave the scene, Officer Guard appears to celebrate quietly that the incident was caught on video just seconds before turning off her body cam. Ian was taken from the scene and charged with resisting arrest and other minor violations, but the prosecutor in this case pursued them to trial. However, because of your donations to his GoFundMe, we were able to raise over $8,000 and Ian was acquitted. Three officers point guns at him, he thought he was going to be killed, and he was arrested. Since the incident, Ian has experienced severe physical pain, 
migraines, emotional distress, and PTSD. In fact, he moved to Denver, fearing for his safety, leaving his family and friends behind. Ongoing anxiety issues and the required travel for court have cost him his employment. But ultimately, multiple attorneys reached out to me to help, and Ian has now filed a lawsuit for the excessive force used against him. Three superior police officers are being sued by the 22-year-old for alleged excessive force and failure to intervene. The city is also being sued, and it all surrounds a traffic stop from earlier this year. Nor um, Snyder, one of Kuiper's attorneys, outrageous. filed the official complaint Thursday, which states three of the five responding officers then drew their firearms and pointed them at Kuiper's vehicle. He is um, ready to take the fight to them and to um, hold them accountable for what happened to him. There's definitely more to come from both of these incidents, so stay tuned. And when more information becomes available, I will let you know. We have reached out to Superior Police and the City of Superior. A spokesperson with Superior PD said they could not comment due to the pending litigation. Yeah, we are still waiting to hear back from the city. Links to the GoFundMe campaigns, original videos, and more can be found below. And until next time, check out another episode linked on screen.